A big thanks to Brabura by Hearthstone Outdoor for sponsoring this episode. I'm revealing all my secrets of fried rice to the world. Before we get started, if you're not from the Netherlands, fried rice in the Netherlands is actually called nasi. And nasi is an Indonesian term for fried rice. You know, back in the days when the Netherlands was in their golden era, we did some things that, um, well, we, 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 looking at hindsight, we, we shouldn't have maybe not have done. What I'm trying to say is, we have a lot of Indonesian people living in the Netherlands, so there's a strong culture of their food connected with our food. For instance, one of my favorite sauces, the ketchup manis, comes from Indonesia. Not only did they bring us the Chinese food, and that's again really weird. Chinese food in the Netherlands is a mixture between Chinese food and Indonesian food combined together and married as a whole and then chicken up and make it taste like Dutch people want to eat it. And that's a long version of explaining to you how Dutch fried rice is totally different than fried rice all over the world and therefore unique in itself and worth showing to the world. And, and uh, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Uncle Roger. The first thing that I need to do is cut up this chicken. And this is a, the cheapest chicken you can find because if you want to do it right, you do it cheap. So I'm going to take my Santoku knife and cut these chicken fillets into big chunks. Then I'm going to take a pan with a liter of water, add around 50 grams of salt to it, stir it up until the salt is dissolved and add the chicken to it. And that's brining chicken. Now this goes into the fridge for at least two hours. This is the fast food way of doing it. And there's also another version, a more Indonesian style of making satay, but that's not what we're doing today. Time to pull up my chef's knife and slice up some leek. I'm gonna take off the outside leaves and quarter up the young fresh leaves that sit on the inside. And then all I need is some ham, an egg and yesterday's leftover white rice. Now, in reality, Dutch people don't have leftover white rice. So you gotta cook this ahead of time, a day. And in this case, it's probably more like two, three weeks, but it gets better. The older the rice, the better it is. And the reason that it's better is because it's dry and it's really uh, los in structure. It's very loose, loosey goosey. And of course, don't forget about the sunflower oil and the secret ingredient. Some people might know, some people might not know, but if you eat at a Chinese restaurant, it has that mm, Warm it up. Flavor, that, that, that mm, Driving up. If there's too much of it, it just. That top note, that cream. You feel it right there? Pure vanilla. I'm talking about this, Fei Xin. Fei Xin is the secret. Fei Xin is basically uh, MSG, with a little bit of salt. And it's really, really tasty. Gives that umami flavor. And when you taste it, it tastes like chicken soup. Really weird. Mm. I'm gonna be cooking on my Brabura flat top griddle, otherwise known as plancha. It is a cast iron plate with an MI coating and it's gonna be perfect for my fried rice because I got a loads of cooking surface. I got two burners set to the max, which means I'm gonna have a hot spot right here. And then I got a low burner setting right here, which means I can store things on this side, keeping them warm while not cooking them. I wanna try something. I wanna try the uh, thing that you all see them do in the restaurant. Poop, they throw up the egg and then they catch it like sideways and then it cracks and then they write something on the... And I've never done that before. I think it's just gotta be done with confidence. <gasps> oh, snap, you saw that? Oh, look, 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 I can write. Come on, go, 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 go. Give me an X. Beep. Who is the fried rice master now? Look at that. Pretty sure that's a required specification uh, for a real true fried rice master. But, oh. Uh, for the fried rice, I'm gonna scramble the eggs. Of course, that's done on the plancha. And once it's fried, just slide it to the side. If Anthony Bidet would be here, he would be proud of my rhyming skills. If Uncle Roger would see me working that egg, he would just, he would probably not. All right, now I wanna get some oil in, a little bit of sunflower oil, then the leek, the ham, and what I need is to see a little bit of charring on the outside of my leek and on my ham, just to get that flavor out. Everything that's locked inside of it needs to pop out. There we go. My leek is turning soft and shiny. And leek in itself is super, super sweet and very tasty. It's like a better version of an onion. This is so cool. Do you know they do this in every country? They got a version of this. Like this is a Spanish plancha, but then you got the flat top grill in the US. 
You got the teppanyaki in Japan. Every country needs something like this, a cooking plate. Now I'm gonna mix everything up. The egg, the leek, the ham. Let the flavors come together. And then of course I'm gonna need our old rice. I'm gonna set this to the side. That will make mixing it up later easier. A little bit of oil goes on. And then start warming up the rice, breaking it up. Once everything is broken up, and mix it in with the vegetables and start slowly. Start with half, for instance, because you want to mix it up. You want to see how much of the veggies you're going to need for your fried rice. Because you can't have the veggies overpowering the fried rice. But I think in this case, I eyeballed it pretty good. The right amount of everything. There we go. Look at that. And then I'm going to boost the flavor, making it the fast food version of fried rice. A little bit of MSG fades in. Mix it up. Once it's done, I'm gonna slide it to the side. Then I'm gonna turn off the heat on this side of the plancha. I'm gonna put on a lid. I'm gonna let this steam. It's gonna regenerate the rice. It's going to give the rice a little bit of opportunity to take juices and flavor from the ham, from the leek, and of course, a little bit of that MSG and just soak it all in and marry all of the ingredients together into a real good tasting fried rice. And for the Dutch guys, they know what's coming. I gotta get my pan on, I gotta get it warm, and then I'm going to add pre-made peanut sauce. If you're organizing a party in the Netherlands, make sure you got some of this sauce, and then just warm it up, get some baguette, slice it up, and then feed it to the people that are super, super hungry. And the more you feed them with this sauce and bread, the less they will be eating of your steak. And then, of course, we need our chicken. Now, with fried rice from the US, for instance, it's all about adding the chicken straight away, but in the Netherlands, we eat the chicken on the side. Just a skewer with loads of brine chicken, which is grilled straight on the hot plate with maybe a little bit of chicken seasoning. Here's another trick when you're cooking on a flat top grill like this. You want to get your spatula and make sure you get all that crust from the chicken. Flip it around, brown the chicken, a little bit of extra seasoning. Now I got almost everything ready, except for the mandatory ham. We need more ham. On every portion of nasi goreng, especially nasi goreng special, there's a little slab of ham, which is a very weird thing to do, but it's also like a, a gift to the Dutch people. So you get a little bit of extra, you get a slice of ham and a whole egg that you get for free with your fried rice or you don't get your ham, it's very upsetting to the Dutch. The ham is done, slide it to the cold side. There we go. That's some good looking chicken right there. Another thing, when you're making fast food eggs, it can not be runny. We food is, we love it. A little bit of the yellow stuff just popping out. Dutch people, no. All right, my chicken satay is done. Satay ayam. My egg is done. My nasi goreng is done. And my Weiko sauce is done, so we're ready to build up this plate. Of course, first the fried rice or nasi, then the ham and the egg, and then comes the satay. Then load it up with the peanut sauce. And of course, I gotta finish it off with my sweet soy sauce, ketchup manis. Oh yeah. And that's how the Dutch people eat fried rice. That's how we roll. That's it. Fast food, fried rice, at its finest. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Nasi, mm. and of course, don't forget about the kumpukum.